Hello! In today's video, we're going to begin covering PDF accessibility. Because PDF is an end product, meaning other formats such as Word and PowerPoint are converted to PDF, we'll only be reviewing PDF remediation over the course of two videos. PDFs are remediated using specialized software. The one we suggest you use is Adobe's Acrobat Professional. One other note, it's always much easier to create an accessible PDF if you start with a fully accessible Word or PowerPoint document. If you are able, convert to PDF from an accessible document. You can visit our other resources for more information on Word and PowerPoint. Okay, and that brings us to our first lesson. To start, you need to review your tag tree. Access the tags pane by selecting the tag icon on the left, or by navigating to View, Show, Hide, Navigation Panes, Tags. The tag tree is the basis of PDF remediation. It helps the reader navigate a document and understand the logical reading order of content. Upon first glance, the very first tag states SECT, which stands for Section. Sometimes when you convert to PDF, you'll see this tag. However, every PDF's first tag beneath Tags should be Document. Let me show you how to fix this. Select the tag, right click, which activates the context menu, and select Properties. From the drop down menu, select Document, and select Close. Now we've opened our tree by expanding the document tag. The content is tagged into different categories headings with H1, H2, H3, and so on, paragraphs with P, images with figure lists with L, and of course table is spelled out. We can check the reading order of the document by reviewing the order of tags. Select any tag, activate the context menu, and ensure that highlight content is turned on. If you use your up and down arrows on the keyboard, you'll notice the corresponding content will highlight in the document. Select a few to see if something is missing or if the content is not tagged appropriately. If we keep scrolling, it looks like we've stumbled upon content that hasn't been tagged. No problem. You'll need to create a tag manually. Select the tag above and open the context menu. Select New Tag. On the drop down, choose Paragraph, then OK. We now have our new tag. We just have to fill in the content. Highlight the content that requires a tag, right click the new tag, and choose Create Tag from Selection. One tip to keep in mind, when you're reviewing your tag tree, if you notice an incorrect tag, for example, an H2 that should be an H3, simply go to the context menu, properties, then select the correct tag from the dropdown. You can also rename a tag by pressing F2 on the keyboard and typing the correct tag name. It is important to keep in mind though, tags are case sensitive. Moving along. Sometimes when a document is converted to a PDF format, the tag tree can receive a bit of clutter or unnecessary tags that hinder the way the document is read. These tags need to be relabeled as artifacts. Anything that is an artifact will be ignored by assistive technology. When I open this tag, there's no content inside the box. This will be read like an extraneous space to someone using a screen reader. To artifact this, right click the tag and choose Change Tag to Artifact. Press OK. You should also artifact non-distinct header and footer content. Perhaps your tag tree is picking up some background imaging on the cover of your document, but it doesn't convey anything to the reader. Be sure to use proper judgment in artifact tags that should be ignored by screen readers. In the case of extraneous spaces, I will often delete the tag after I artifact the content. Simply open the context menu and choose Delete Tag. However, you should understand, this is only the case for tags without meaningful content. If you simply delete something without artifacting it, that content is not deleted. It will still be read by assistive technology. Next, let's cover lists. Lists require several tags to ensure readability. If you converted an accessible Word document into a PDF, oftentimes these tags will be auto-generated for you, but on the rare occasion you may have to create a list tag for yourself. The tags need to be ordered as follows. List, L. Then nested underneath is the list item, LI. Then sometimes listed underneath that is the label tag, LBL, which holds the bullet or number. 
and the L body tag nested underneath that which holds the text. Please note, if you convert a document and the tag structure reads L, L, I, L body, your list is still considered accessible even without the label tag. Either structure works. As with this document, we have quite a large list spanning two pages. If you review the tag tree, it seems the very last bullet is missing tags. Here is how to fix it. Right click the list item tag above and choose new tag. From the drop down select list item and then choose OK. Select your new tag again and open the context menu. Choose new tag. Under the drop down select list item body then choose OK. Now move your L body tag so it's nested underneath your new LI tag. Next, highlight your desired text, right click the L body tag and choose create tag from selection. Note, if your list has a sublist, the new L tag must nest under the text of its parent tag in line with the L body. Next, we'll look at table of contents. It is recommended that lengthy documents of about 20 pages or more contain a linked table of contents. The tags for a table of contents include TOC, TOCI, which stands for table of contents item. Each TOCI must have a reference tag. In addition, a link tag or OBJR tag must be nested under each reference tag for linked TOCs. Now, as you typically make a table of contents in a Word document, by the time your TOC makes it to PDF, you mostly need to review the tag structure and ensure your table of contents items will link to the appropriate locations within the document. First, ensure your table of contents starts with the TOC tag, with TOCI tags nested underneath. If you notice that a piece of your table of contents is missing, as I've shown previously, simply highlight the desired text, Right click the corresponding tag and choose create tag from selection. Note, just like lists, table of contents can have sublists too. A new TOC tag needs to be nested between its parent tag in line with the corresponding TOCI tag. If your TOC contains links to various sections of your document, ensure that your link tag contains an OBJR tag. An OBJR tag ensures that links are keyboard accessible to assistive technologies. Now let's open these other TOCI tags, and I'll expand the sidebar. If your link needs an OBJR, right-click the corresponding tag and choose Find on the context menu. In the drop-down menu, select Unmarked Links, then choose Find. Your tag should be highlighted within the document. If the appropriate link is highlighted, select Tag Element. To note, all links need OBJR tags. When you review the links in any PDF, follow the previous steps to create OBJR tags. And that's it for part one of our PDF series. Please note, these are the basics of PDF accessibility. Every PDF is different and its remediation is situational, but with lots of practice, you can learn PDF.